My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to episode number 59 of the 120 Days to Jam Physics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be saying goodbye to mirror formulas, magnification, and images formed by mirror. It has simply been an amazing journey. Trust me, it has been interesting. I have done a lot of videos on that light waves, on that mirrors, and a lot of secrets has been exposed. So here, we are looking at jump past questions on that this topic. So you are making use of the Flash Learners application. Do well to install one for yourself, activate and play with questions, participate in the challenge, play the educational games. With the app and the videos, you are going to pass very, very well. So chat me up directly on WhatsApp, email or visit flashlearners.com or any of your app and play store to install the application. They are going to help you do very well in your examination. Now, from the Flash Learners application. The first question here says, calculate the position of an object placed in front of a convex mirror, having focal length of 12 cm, such that an image formed is 6 cm away from the mirror. This is quite a lot. When given questions, break them down, pick out the data. It says, calculate the position of an object so that is simply object distance is what we are asked to look for and this object is placed in front of a convex mirror and the focal length of this convex mirror is 12 centimeters and i told you that for convex mirrors focal length is positive so you always take them positive if it were to be concave mirror you would have put minus here but we are dealing with convex so it remains positive. So the image form is 6 cm away from the mirror. The distance of the image is 6 cm and it is away from the mirror. So this is basically nothing to worry about. Applying my favorite formula, focal length is UB over U plus V. Focal length is 12. U is what we are looking for. V is 6 cm. So u times v is 6 times u, that is 6u, all over u plus 6. Ladies and gentlemen, solving this, you get 12u plus 6 is equals to 6u. 12 times u, that is 12u. 12 times 6, 6 times 2 is 12, put down 2, carry 1. 6 times 1, 6 plus the 1 you carry, that is going to be 2 equals 6 u. Collecting like terms, 72 is equal 6 u minus 12 u. So 72 is equals 6 minus 12, that is minus 6 u. Dividing both sides by minus 6, u becomes 12. 76 divided by that is u becomes minus 12. The 72 divided by minus 6 is minus 12. So that is the correct option. 12 is correct. Now in options, they don't put plus or minus because the plus or minus shows us the type of image or the types of objects. So this is the correct option. <coughs> Which of these works based on the principle of mirror inclination? That is kaleidoscope. It works based on inclining mirrors at various angles. And here it is an object placed 10 cm from a concave mirror of focal length 5 cm would have its image dash. Now, this is a very technical question. This is concave mirror, right? This is the pole. This is center of 
curvature, this is the focus. It says that this image is placed 10 cm from a concave mirror. So from here to where the image is, let's say 10 cm. And we are told that the focal length of the mirror is 5 cm. Focal length is from here to here. That is 5 cm. And the mirror is 10 cm away from the the object is 10 cm away from the mirror. So just look at something. It is not everything you saw. Some things you need to use your number six. The same focal length is five, and the distance of the object is 10 from the uh, is 10 cm. So it means if here is five and here is also five cm because focal length times two is center of curvature. When you have center of curvature, or radius of curvature rather, you get the focal length. So here is 5, here is 5. If the object is 10 cm, it means the object is exactly here. Yes, because exactly here is 10 cm, 5 plus 5. So this is another way of saying that the object is at the center of curvature. And what did I tell you in the last three episodes, or the last two episodes rather, I told you that if an object is placed at the center of curvature, the image will also be formed at that center of curvature. So the object is here, the image will also be formed at the center of curvature. Option C is the correct option. If the object you are supposed to be to be placed at this focus here, the image will be formed at infinity. And if the object you are placed at infinity, the image will be formed at the focus. Please don't miss any of this my videos and make sure you always understand. At what position will an object be placed in front of a concave mirror in order to attain an image at infinity? I just said that if the object is at the focus, image will be at infinity. Option D is the correct option. An object of height 5 cm is placed at 20 cm from a concave mirror of focal length 10 cm. Object height is 5 cm at its place at 20 cm so this is the object height the object distance is 20 cm from a concrete mirror of focal length 10 cm what are we looking for the image height ladies and gentlemen before we start solving I told you that when it comes to focal length, pardon, so when it comes to concave mirror, your focal length should be negative, your object distance should be negative. Please don't forget, I am begging you in the name of God. So we have the object height, object distance, image height, and the focal length. We need to look for the image distance. The image distance. This should not be a problem to us. Applying my favorite formula, F is equal to U V over U plus V minus 10 is equal to minus 20 V over minus 20 plus V. Solving this correctly, what would be our value for V? V is equal to 20 centimeter. So the object distance is the same thing as the image distance. 20 centimeter. So the image has to be object distance over image distance over object distance is equals image height over object height. 20 over u over 20 is equals image height, which we are looking for, over object height, which is 5. So if image distance is the same thing as object distance, image height will be the same thing as object height. So the is also 5 cm. That is the correct answer. A real image three times the size of an object is formed 24 cm from a converging mirror. A real image three times the size of an object. It means if the object is u, the image is three times the 
object. What does it mean? This means that the image is enlarged. This means that magnification is 3. And this means that magnification is positive. For magnification to be positive, it means that object distance over Im image distance over object distance is positive. There is no negative. Because if m is equals minus v over u, magnification will be negative. But here if m is positive, it means magnification is v over u. And it is 3. 3 is equals v over u. Therefore, u will be v over 3. Now it says that the image distance is 24 centimeter. So v is equals 24 centimeter. From u equals v over 3, u becomes 24 over 3. And that will give you 8 or so, if I am correct. Now, food is ready. What are we looking for? Focal length. Fo is uv over u plus v. And that should give you 8 times 24 over 8 plus 24. Everything there is 6 centimeter. That is the correct answer. And that is your answer. The most suitable type of mirror used for the construction of the searchlight is the concave mirror because the rays converge, they meet at a point to form a very shiny beam. So that is option D to be the correct option. An object is placed in front of two mirrors inclined at an angle theta degrees theta. If the total number of images formed is seven, find the value of theta. This is a pretty straightforward question. The number of images formed by three mirrors is 360 degrees over theta minus one. Now we are told that seven images were formed. It means n is equals seven. This is equals 360 degrees over theta minus one. We are looking for the angle theta. If you solve that correctly, making theta subject formula, or saying that seven plus one is equals 360 degrees over theta, eight is equals 360 degrees over theta degrees. Theta degrees is 360 degrees divided by eight. That will give you 45 degrees. So an angle needs to be at 45 degrees for seven images to be formed by two plane mirrors. And if the mirrors are placed parallel, it means the angle is zero degrees or 180 degrees. At zero degrees, infinite number of images are going to be formed. There are a lot, a lot, a lot more questions, a lot more questions, but we'll not be able to look at them. So get a flash nas jam application go to subject physics topic or uh, light waves then you see mirrors the mirror formula then lenses and everything is there you are able to choose a particular topic that you want answer a lot of questions if you have any problem reach out to me and the questions there they also have answers if you choose the study mode you can see answers after every question and they are well simplified i trust you found this interesting subscribe to this channel and see you in the next episode